Nigerian student Fatima Zakari is assembling a robotics machine with her classmate. She's 12 years old and lives in the northern Nigerian city of Kano, a conservative Muslim society where girls often marry young and have their education cut short. But thanks to the Kabara NGO, she's learning about robotics, computing and other STEM subjects. I came to Kabara to learn robotics and I have created a lot of things in robotics, like a paper crinkler and a battery powered spin art device. I'm happy to share this with the younger ones and the community at large for the growth of our society. Kabara is the brainchild of engineer Hadiza Jurbati. She hopes the classes will help the girls develop skills they can use to start their own small businesses or enroll at university. We found that our girls, even though some of them might not be good at traditional mathematics, they've displayed superior intellect in understanding the way equipment and machines work and basic concepts of physics and basic concepts in mathematics without necessarily understanding what the subject is. And we think that that is the future. The project is a rare educational success story in northern Nigeria. More than 1,000 children have been kidnapped from schools in the region by ransom seekers since December. That's also caused many more to drop out as their parents are fearful of abductions. Kabara is located in a safe area in the heart of Kano and has been unaffected by the crisis. Crucial to its success has been the support of Nasiro Wada. He's a close advisor to the Emir of Kano, who's a figurehead and has moral authority in the community. Tradition tends to uh, not say discourage, but does not uh, put enough emphasis on the education of the girl child with the belief that, uh, oh, at a certain age, she'll get married, she'll become a housewife. But uh, some fail to see or understand that even a married woman is a manager.